Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew is making a case for the increase of the minimum wage. Speaking at his third annual Constituency Aid Gala Dinner and Awards Ceremony at Royal St. Kitts Hotel on Saturday, Prime Minister Drew highlighted the achievements of his government so far and pressed the need to accomplish other initiatives, including increasing the minimum wage. But what also came to mind is that through all of this development, we must ensure that the disparity that exists between those who have a lot and those who don't have a lot, that we narrow that gap. That is also essential for the takeoff. For no country with significant gaps between those who have and those who don't have can truly develop resilience, sustainability, and prosperity for all. And as such, I want to say that is why we are looking seriously at dealing with the minimum wage here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Meanwhile, keynote speaker Willa Franks Lybird spoke of the accomplishments of the government and the progress the country has made in recent times. She noted this is the beginning of a new era. Over the years, despite a number of bumps and hurdles, the Federation has steadily grown and developed, raising the standard of living for thousands of its people. World Bank statistics show that among the 15 Caribbean countries which make up the Caribbean community and common market, St. Kitts and Nevis has the second highest per capita income. <laughs> At over US $18,000 per annum, it is second only to the Bahamas and classified in the high income bracket. It is also classified by the United Nations in its Human Development Report as having high human development. The Constituency Aid Gala Dinner and Award Ceremony recognizes persons from the constituency who have made invaluable contributions to their respective communities and fields of endeavor. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.